This is you. Here. The ball is in your court, guys. There is that offering. There is your person, Virgo, waking up here. There is that star, your person wanting, having that hope for you guys. Wanting to take that chance here with the Fool card. With the World card here, guys. Wanting this reunion very much. Looking at that, not quite sure yet here. With the Page of Pentacles. But knowing that they want to do this work, you guys. Being led by their heart, I have to say more than any other time. And you always, Virgo, that's the thing. You're just such a pure person, I have to say, a very honest person. People are attracted to that about you. Your person trying to get that courage, guys, very much, wanting to stand the heat, do the work, do what you, <laughs> come with some honesty, guys, with some apologies for you. That salamander standing that sun, that heat, that king of pentacles, guys, that offering, there's that star again. The Knight of Swords, very quickly coming. You having this decision. What is that? Well, look. You got that commitment card. Very much. There's that star again for the third time. And it's no accident that that is the three again, you guys. That commitment. What is that keeping you? What is that decision you need to make? What do you need to forgive your person for? Virgo. Hi Virgo, hello, welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hi, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. You could also be here watching for a Virgo in your life and feel you are resonating with the reading yourself. If that happens, go with the flow, guys. It means something is here for you today. Now, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, this is your January, well, one of the first, January 2022, 2022, love readings, no contact, no communication, and or in separation readings. Um, I want to say to you that I'm still traveling, guys. I am not in Austria at the moment. I'm traveling in America. Hello. <laughs> so this is my temporary setup. It won't be um, much longer now, a couple of weeks around about. Um, you might have noticed that readings are slower than usual. I do apologize for that. And thank you very much for your patience and understanding. That will change when I get back to Austria and I will resume, um, excuse me, upload daily uploads. Okay, guys. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Today we are looking at Crow Tarot as your main reading. We will also be pulling an Enchanted Map Oracle card. And as always, we have channeled love messages, channeled song messages. I do have the Twin Flame Soulmate deck out today, as well as the Tarot Closet channeled love messages. Now, we won't be doing totems. I just want to let you know for a couple of weeks while I am here abroad, but that will also resume when we get back. The other thing I want to say to you is, as always, everything is shuffled and ready to go, guys, but it, I'm it particularly ready to go today because I don't really have the space um, in the setup at the moment traveling to uh, shuffle on this particular table. So everything is ready to go. Um, the second and, well, second, third, where am I? <laughs> Lost. What I want to say to you is what I always want to say to you. Please remember there is a lot of energy coming in today. It's already here. will continue to come in. At times a reading can feel like a private reading and other times it will feel like there's a particular deck for you. Now it can be in the Crow Tarot deck, the Enchanted Map Oracle deck, the love messages, the song messages, whatever, take what resonates for you is what I want to say and throw away the rest. The last thing I want to say to you before we get your reading down is please remember this is not a prediction. You do have free will, your outcome, is your own so please remember that as you're watching today's readings virgo 
today's reading. <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you tell us what is going on with Virgo today and for the month of January with their person in their love life? And anything that you feel needs to come through today, whether it's love related or not. Excuse me, guys. Let me just fix this a little. And I'm going to just give a little bit of a disclaimer, which I would not normally do if you watch my readings, that there might be a little bit of noise in the background today. So apologies. It cannot be avoided. <laughs> it's just the nature of traveling and staying with um, a big loud family <laughs> so that's how that goes thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors can we have one more please for our virgos okay guys um let's take a look at your reading i'm going to turn your cards over and you can take a look at them while i get your overall energy okay Wow, look, you're already starting with the star card, the full card, Aquarius energy there. Okay, guys, the page of pentacles. There is Capricorn for you, the king of wands. All right, the knight of wands. Guys, the high priestess. My goodness, the king of pentacles in the coveted hiding spot, guys, and the knight of swords. Okay, let me just get your reading up a little bit here and we will get started I'm going to get your overall energy Virgo just a minute here let me get your your cards so you can actually see them look the page of Pentacles or excuse me the king of Pentacles is already hiding guys if you know this is the coveted hiding spot in my readings doesn't seem to matter that I'm traveling <laughs> it still is let me fix this too guys yeah okay just a minute let me get your overall energy I pause the video and actually I had to pause the video and I collapsed the table. So I think I have fixed everything here. We're going to continue on with our reading. Thank you for bearing with me as I travel. These are, this is a temporary situation. So a little, little bit of, um, yeah, difficulties arising that I'm not expecting here. <laughs> Hopefully you can see all the cards. Okay, guys, let's get the overall energy for your person. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have overall energy for Virgo's person, please? There we go. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have an overall energy card for Virgo, please? Anything that needs to come through, help them to receive some clarity, peace, understanding. Okay, now um, I want to tell you, Virgo, this is your person's overall energy. This is your overall energy. However, it can be at times that the energies are reversed. So your person's could be yours. Yours could be your person's. Can also be that the energies belong in the overall reading. So let's turn them over and see what's going on. Okay, we have the world card for your person. Seven of pentacles for you. Virgo, I have to say to you, as I look down at your reading here with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the King of Wands, the Fool, the Star card, it's definitely your person's energy. Now coming through, we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo here, Taurus. And again, Taurus, a double confirmation for those of you, your person is a Taurus, but Virgo, oh my gosh, um, look at you looking at that work you've been putting into this partnership. Also, you've been waiting. I want to tell you guys, um, the world card is also the future here. Okay, now it can be, it's just the way it is, <laughs> that your person is wanting to travel to you physically, but also on this journey, guys. This is very strong twin flame soulmate energy here. Also, the laurel wreath is made of evergreen, and that is everlasting and the color does not change this is telling me that this partnership this connection has been going on for a long time and also for a lot of you we can see here with the seven of pentacles the weight as well in this separation you have one of the pentacles here 
kind of like you dug it up almost just to decide. Now this is a seven, you're reflecting on everything that's happened. You're also assessing where you are, Virgo. I wanna tell you, and I almost said Taurus. Um, we have the double confirmation of Taurus guys, but for some of you, that's just more confirmation um, if your person is a Taurus. It's not going to be for everybody, but I want to tell you here that pentacle right below, like I said, it's as if you have dug it up, Virgo, and you want to look at it. Now, some of you aren't sure you're going to stay. I have to say, some of you have been waiting so long, you're, you're ready to move on here, but that's not for everybody, guys. So yeah. let's get a better, excuse me, view here through your reading and put this overall energies down for now. All right, let's get started here. I wanna tell you, at times with the very first cards coming down, it can be that it's just you, Virgo, can also be just your person's energy, or it can be a mix. Today, I have to tell you, this is all your person here. Look, massive waking up, so much emotional energy, Virgo, wow lot of emotional energy and I want to tell you there's that seven again now the star card comes um, in numerology two and eight you guys but we do have those seven stars there's some more of that with your person as well really reflecting on how things have gone what they could have done differently what is happening now assessing the situation you guys adding that one star here do you see that one star well that's hope some potential here. What are we seeing with the Fool card? Well, we're seeing your person still has hope and is wanting to take a chance, you guys. A uh, very divinely guided connection. Again, this is a very strong spiritual connection. Now, not everybody is on a twin flame journey. If that is you, you are not. Let that go. Take what resonates for you and throw away the rest, you guys, okay? Truly. Either way, Virgo, I have to tell you, it's a very, very strong spiritual connection here. There is a little bit of out of the cloud feeling here with your person coming. And it's also a confirmation, excuse me, I have a very itchy eye, you guys, here with the Knight of Swords. Very impulsively, guys. Um, your person is getting that clarity. Look, there is that sword. Also transactional, guys. What is the horse do doing? Excuse me, it's moving here. It's in movement, guys, even through a little bit of a storm. If you see that here, which makes a lot of sense, this is the Knight of Swords, guys. There is a little bit of conflicting energy there but also that transactional, I'm coming here with the sword. I wanna tell you, we'll get more to that when we get there. But very, very much here, divinely guided. And also your person, I have to say, might be a little bit, I don't know if afraid is the right word. I think it is. There's a little bit of fear here, I have to say. They're looking over. Now they're wanting to take that chance, but they are contemplating what has gone on. And I'm not surprised by that. I think for a lot of you, maybe um, through other connections or social media, maybe you've already talked as well, but your person also knows, I wanna to say to you, that you are looking here at this commitment, at all the practicalities of their relationship, you guys, that is the pentacle, okay? Um, really, this is, well, this is a love reading. This is a no contact, no communication, and or in separation love reading, and you have taken that pentacle out to decide. Why is that? Because some of you are really tired of waiting, and we see that, and I think your person knows that too. Partly why they're on the move, you guys, here with the world card, also, we can see that here with the Fool card. And what's going on here? Well, really the same thing, I have to tell you. This is the page energy, so yeah, your person could be younger, maybe behaving a little bit immaturely, but what I also wanna say to you, Virgo, is I feel like they're just really contemplating the reunion here, not quite moving yet. This is the partnership placement, you guys. There is definitely an imbalance, I wanna tell you, in this partnership, or there was. We can see that, I think I think it's you. I have to say, Virgo, that was putting in more work, but I wanna tell you guys, well, I love you, Virgo, <laughs> you know that, but I'm also not biased here, so it can be that it's vice versa. Um, but guys, it's very strong for me, for most of you, that this is your person here looking at that pentacle. They're really just staring right at it. What is above it? Well, the wreath here, you guys, this union again, this reunion coming together with all the flowers on there, also right 
surrounding them, I want to tell you. And here, if you look a little close, do you see this flower here? It's shaped like a heart, you guys. Your person is really thinking about that commitment, um, being able to offer it to you. And what I want to say to you too here, more Twin Flame Soulmate energy here with the King of Wands, guys. Look at that. What is that? That's a wand. That is the energy of love, guys. That is the salamander here, kind of well standing the heat. It's not surprising. It's right underneath the sun. Your person trying to get the courage. And I want to tell you, I very strongly feel here wanting to put the work in with the Knight of Wands, you guys. Now, this is Leo energy, but Cancer is also coming through. There's that wand again. Look, trying to be led by their heart. There is that sun again, you guys, wanting that outcome, willing to stand the heat quite literally for that joyous outcome, very much like getting the sun card, you guys. I want to tell you a successful outcome. Also, the end of a cycle, completion, renewal with the sun card, um, excuse me, uh, 10, coming to a 10. And here with, excuse me, <laughs> I'm losing the cards, you guys, with the world card energy. Look at that laurel wreath, guys. It is huge. Very strong twin flame soulmate energy. We have another confirmation here. Your person knows what this is, Virgo. Now, I do feel like there's some ego going on. It, it you can see that. Just look at the Knight of Wands. But your person's also, excuse me, your person is also a little bit afraid. They're really trying to get the courage to come to you. But again, willing to stand that heat, guys, and do what with the Knight of Wands? Put the work in, you guys. That's very much the Knight of Wands also here with this light brown horse, I want to tell you. And again here, a little bit through the storm, but also a very divinely guided connection there is that wand again, that love again. Your person being led by their heart, guys. And I have to say with the king of wands here, I don't feel like for some of you, that's the normal reaction of your person. I think you're, for some of you, your person is, has not been led by their hearts. Coming through very strong now that that is where they're wanting to be. And look, I pushed the high priestess over, of course, um, not on purpose. Cards do travel. And when that happens, there are new messages. And it is now here in your relationship placement, your second placement, guys, the high priestess. That is a two. Obviously, this is about the two of you. More twin flame soulmate energy. A decision on the table, guys. What is that decision? Well, you. You. I have to tell you, look, you're looking at, you've dug up that pentacle, Virgo. You've dug it up and where is it? You stuck it right here on the moon card. There it is. You're kind of looking away. For some of you, there was a wedding involved or marriage involved or it was going to be involved, but that is it's not the case for everyone, but it's very strong for many of you. There's a really strong need here with the high priestess energy to trust your intuition. Trust yourself here. And I have to tell you, um, it moved over here in the second placement, telling us that this is about coming back together with your person, guys. Very much trusting that. And I'm going to leave it there because that is where it landed. It might travel back where it was under the Knight of Wands. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. When that happens, guys, it is because there are other messages that need to come through. And let me just get this here <laughs> without dropping it. Okay. And that's what I wanted to say to you. We'll get to there. We'll come back there in a minute. Guys, the Knight of Wands again. There's that sun. There is the King of Wands. There is that sun. Super strong. Twin flame soulmate energy. A lot of love. I want to tell you right now, if you think your person doesn't love you, Virgo, uh, it's very strong that your person loves you, but I also think they're afraid for some of you that you have moved on already. I know that's not going to be for everyone, but boy, is that strong. And with that high priestess energy was quite literally here as the reading began underneath the Knight of Wands. What is your person doing here? Well, coming, wanting to do the work, you guys, being led by their heart. What are they wanting to bring you? Well, they're not really sure what to do. They're a little confused, maybe a little immature with the Page of Pentacles energy. But what's over here, guys? We have the King of Pentacles energy, much more self-assured, I have to tell you. Your person peaking here, too, now. That's the other thing I want to tell you. I'm going to set this down. Okay. Is it going back there? Yes, it's going back there. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What's happening with your reading? Look. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
that can happen guys i feel like i can't keep up it's just um moving very 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 quickly and that's what i wanted to tell you what do they need to decide what do you need to decide here excuse me virgo well that pentacle here guys that commitment what is your person sitting on here well here on the page of pentacles they're looking at it a little bit immature we see the pride here going on a little bit of ego here in the knight of wands also them trying to get the strength here they know what you are look at that wanting to stand the heat but not quite ready here just maybe a little bit immature i want to tell you but what is happening over here guys the king of pentacles well a lot more self-assured i want to tell you that um this is now your person can be older i want to say that to you but also look what is here guys look if we look at the page of pentacles excuse me i want to get rid of that glare you see that wreath here wanting that reunion what do we see here well now they're wearing it not only are they wearing the wreath here and the pentacle being right below them wearing the crown here in the king of pentacles knowing what they want knowing what you are to them but look what is there guys excuse me there's that star there is that waking up energy there is that one star guys that opportunity that the potential here your person wanting to take that chance guys with the full card and seeing it here in the star card very very much and we're seeing it here again with the king of pentacles wearing that wreath you guys um your cards are just traveling all over the place wow <laughs> i have to tell you virgo your reading is very very intense but i have to say very much this energy guys the knight of swords energy your person wanting to come out of Really, it's very much like an ace card, I have to tell you, in some ways, because it's very impulsive. It's kind of out of nowhere. It's also very fast. If you see here, the bird also, your person wanting to rise above things, guys, wanting to rise above. They have clarity here. Now, I can tell you also, wanting to have success. We see that here all over the table. And you, um, you, <laughs> Virgo, I feel like you're holding the cards here, really making this decision and everything is here, guys. And look, what is on this sword? It's a heart. It's painful. I can see that, Virgo. You've been waiting for a long time and you're still carrying a lot of pain. There is that wand here um, supporting the cup, you guys. Very emotional. And again, that pentacle right here in the moon. You needing to trust yourself about this decision that you want to make with your person. And for a lot of you, it's your person coming back and whether you want another start with them, whether you want to continue things with them. And it's very, very, <laughs> I was going to say very, very, I'm thinking of that song, um, Love. Yeah, the Nat King Cole love song. A, a lot of you, there's a lot of love here, Virgo. You've clearly been waiting, but I feel like your person is a little afraid that some of you have left and some of you are thinking about it, guys. The two, this this two here, this decision, the high priestess, you're, you're kind of, you're looking over. You're not even, your eye is not even really looking toward us it's looking over so um that tells me you're still in pain here from the time that you've been waiting and something that happened between you guys your person may be wanting to clear that up here too guys with the knight of wands but yeah let's go over this again before we move on there is that star card your person waking up there is that star guys this overall energy here the world card this reunion a successful union too is what your person is wanting here <laughs> yeah okay the high priestess has traveled all the way here down to the first placement guys you really needing to trust yourself here with this decision you want to make in this commitment that pentacle right there guys because your person is thinking about it there it is there is that laurel wreath, or that, excuse me, floral wreath. And there they are with the king of pentacles, with it wrapped around their body. There is that star again, your person trying to get that courage here with the king of wands. Wanting to take that chance, guys, with the fool card. It's every card here is coming up, you guys, and the light is changing as well. 
wanting to do that work, guys, wanting to be led by their heart, standing the heat, as we can see also here, willing to, well, work for it is what I want to tell you. That's very much the Knight of Wands and this brown horse, guys, wanting and willing to work for it and stand whatever it is you have for them <laughs> based on whatever has happened between you. And excuse me, I know that's quite messy. The Knight of Swords. This really quick acting impulsively is what I want to say, guys. Wow. Virgo, uh, really, your reading is pretty amazing. I have to say for a lot of you, I do feel like your person has already, you've already had contact is what I want to say. I know that is not for everybody, but that is coming through very strong. Okay, we're going to look at your channeled Enchanted Map Oracle card, guys, and look, everything is now where it was at the beginning of the reading. So interesting when that happens, I have to say. And look at that, guys. That Knight of Wands there, your person wanting to come in and say, hey, I want to do this work and get this outcome. Also here with the World card, guys, this future may be traveling to you, I want to say, um, very much. And you, holding the cards, Virgo, making this decision. Although I have to say, I think you've been really making it, I want to say, quote unquote, thinking about it for a long time. But things are coming to fruition, guys, very, very much here. Wow, Virgo. Okay, um, let's look at your channeled Enchanted Map Oracle card. Now I do have a pretty precarious situation here. So that is, whoops, waiting for us. All right, <laughs> oh, look. It's the commitment card, you guys. And there is that nine. What is that? Wishes fulfilled, guys. Attainment, also fruition. There it is again. Look. Oh my gosh, so goosebumpy. Well, look at that star. There it is. There is that opportunity that your person woke up to, guys. That potential, the two of you. There it is in the star card. There it is in the commitment card. And there it is in the King of Pentacles card as they wear their floral wreath wanting this reunion with you. Oh my gosh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your last reading was quite similar. I have to say it was a very strong commitment. Right below it, guys, moving fast impulsively too. And what is going on here with the star? Well, there's a keyhole there. Where is the key? There's the key, you guys. That is the commitment card. It's so goosebumpy. I'm very goosebumpy now, Virgo. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> just not really sure what to say anymore, but your person is very much waking up to that, you guys. I think for some of you, they've already come through, but for sure. Now look, we don't see the page of swords here, but I have to tell you, your person is finding a way to keep tabs on you. Whether it is through social media or family or friends, I do think there are some more than one person for some of you family involved with your person. I am seeing the Hierophant card now, Taurus energy um, being flashed before me. That's not going to be for everybody, but that is very, very strong here. But your person waking up, guys, um, really moving out of that page energy here into the King of Pentacles and quickly too. Very, very quickly, but wow. Wow, do you have a lot to think about, Virgo? A lot. This is everything here, guys. It's the commitment. It's the love. It's the friendship, the passion, the emotional energy. It's all here. Very big decision. And as I said, some of you, this has involved marriage or was going to involve marriage or you're still thinking about it. But that is very clear here. And there is that commitment card. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop now. But there is some more Taurus energy. <laughs> There's the selenite, very high vibrational mineral, guys. Let's look at your, excuse me, your twin flame, soulmate, song message cards. Now, can be that your song comes down, can also be that it's just an artist or your artist, your person's artist, can also simply be that there's a message in the song coming through in the way of a lyric, one line, one word, location, a name. You take that as it resonates throw away the rest. And I also want to say to you, if you feel that you're sending the song message to your person, you go with that. It's about what resonates for you, Virgo. 
I'm making a mess here with my setup. <laughs> okay, let's go. What do you want to say to your person there as a flipper? But I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. I'm yours. Guys, very much the Knight of Swords energy, I have to tell you. Um, yeah, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn also coming through. Guys, uh, it feels very Knight of Swords here if it hasn't already. Look at your reading. Now, there there aren't a whole <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of major arcana cards here, but that's not the point, guys. It's very much not the point. If you look at your reading, it's very clear here that your person is really wanting to come and offer this commitment and you you Virgo kind of hold the cards in your hand, I have to say. Or technically I do. <laughs> what do you want to say to your person through song, Virgo? I was born to love. I was born to love. I was born to love you. I was born to love you, Ray LaMontagne. Okay, guys. Yeah, there's a pretty big wake-up call I have to say to you. Um, some of you too, guys, I want to tell you when I was preparing for your reading, I did keep seeing the Three of Swords, some Libra energy there. It's very much, it's been, it's been a, a rough disconnect, I want to tell you. And a lot of you have been waiting for a long time here. I'm really coming to coming to a head, coming to a point. Um, yeah. And for some of you too, it might have involved some type of separation or divorce. That is definitely not for everybody, but that is just coming through right now. And confirmation if your person is Libra. Look, these are yours here. And darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. Thinking out loud, Ed Sheeran, guys, very strong. Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. Again, if you're not on the Twin Flame journey, let that go, guys. It's not going to be for everyone, but I have to tell you, these readings, a lot of people um, come to the readings and the energy is, it's its just a fact that there are a lot of Twin Flames here, also soulmates. So if it's not for you, just let it go. Sometimes it amazes me how strong the power of love can be. Sometimes you just take my breath away. You take my breath away, Eva Cassidy. Wow, you guys. Um, that's also what I want to tell you about this star card, especially in this particular deck. It really is like a sort of, oh, like a singing here. Like your person really also wanting to share a lot of emotional, not just energy, but emotional discoveries, I want to say to you. Just some... Figuring some stuff out, you guys. The clarity, really very much here. Um, yeah. Some things just, some things just make sense. And one of those is you. And I, some things just, some things just make sense. And even after all this time, I'm still into you, Julia Shear. Okay, guys. Yeah. I have to say, this does feel like a very... A very long connection for a lot of you. Okay, these are both yours, guys. As God is my witness, I try to be strong. But my twin, I'm on fire. Don't string me along. Flame twin, Nora Jones. Okay, guys, so that is for the twin flames out there, guys. Confirmation here. Wow, yeah. What's very interesting about this, too, like I said, I do feel like you guys hold the cards, Virgo. Some of you have already been talking with your person here, too. They're hearing stuff through the grapevine here and a little worried that you might be moving on without them. Okay? Nothing compares. No worries or cares. Regrets or mistakes. Their memories made. Someone like you, Adele. Okay, guys. Last chance. Last chance. What do you want to send through to your person? Okay. Wow. They're getting kind of quiet here, guys. There we go. All right. There's two here, and that's it. There is no greater love than what I feel for you. No sweeter song. No heart so true. There is no greater love, Amy Winehouse. 
I never did believe in miracles, but I have a feeling it's time to try. I never did believe... Hi guys, the card just ended there, so I'm going to read this again. Um, especially because this is Aquarius energy coming through, guys. I never did believe in miracles, but I have a feeling, but I have a feeling it's time to try. I never did believe in the ways of magic, but I'm beginning to wonder why. You make loving fun, Fleetwood Mac. Guys, very much here. Also with that star card energy, I have to say, um, yeah, that kind of that believing in miracles energy, having faith. That's what I wanted to say to you. That is coming through again, especially just extra confirmation if your person is an Aquarius, guys. Okay, we're where did that go? There it is. We're going to move on to channeled love messages. And I don't really have a space for these, so I'm going to set those aside. Channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. And if you feel like you're sending the love message to your person, go with that. It's about what resonates for you, Virgo. Do you want to say to your person? Okay, look, that's how that's going, guys, today. I hope you still love me. That is such a strong energy, I have to tell you. We're going to look at these two in a minute, but guys, very much here. Your person having this faith, very much waking up, having having this hope, I have to tell you, so strong in this dark card. Also, with the Fool card, taking a chance, you guys, having this hope for you. Look. Looking at that pentacle, not sure. Does my Virgo still love me? Does my Virgo want this? What did I do? Can I fix it? I need to get the strength to, guys. And I'm and I'm talking about your person here to come and do this work. Very much here, guys. And I can stand the heat. I can do the work. I can do what I need to do. You very much needing to trust yourself, you guys. You're in this decision mode, I have to say. It's very strong for me here with the Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Your person hoping, hoping that you choose them here with that too, guys. Look, there's that moon. There's that pentacle, that decision about this commitment. And there they are now in the King of Pentacles energy. There's that star card really wanting to come and offer that to you, wearing the floral wreath here, guys, that love reunion and coming, look at these cards, <laughs> out of nowhere very quickly, guys. Wow, Virgo, I have to say, I hope you still love me. Virgo, Virgo, do you still love your person? What decision are you making here? I do think it's a little different for everybody, guys, but it is very strong that this is something that is coming to a head for you. I think you've been in and out of your emotions for your person, trying to get over them, um, yet still there, still in it. Okay, where do we want to put things, guys? And then we need to look at those as well. Okay, I hope you can see everything here. All right. I feel like my chest will burst open. Yeah, there's that star card, guys. Very much here. Look at those wings out. Look at all that emotional energy. Very, very much. Super, super strong emotional energy, guys. Super strong realizing something here. Um, wanting to rise above it. We also see that here with the bird and do the work here in the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Can you forgive me? Can you? Virgo, cross watchers. What went on between you guys? What do you need to forgive them for? This weight? All this weight? The fact that it was imbalanced? You were doing more work? What is it? Was there a third party for some of you? Maybe, guys. We do have the world card there. That is coming to a three. Can be that there's third party. But I also think for some of you, that is family. I have to say, your person was kind of swayed maybe by friends or family. That is not for everyone, but that is for some of you. Okay. Um, let's get some more. Okay, these just stayed at the bottom of the deck. They are yours as I try to pick it up. 
So much regret. Yeah, gosh. Yeah, and they're trying to switch it around, guys. The commitment card here, that nine, really, you are their biggest wish, Virgo. And they're realizing that here. There's that key, unlocking that. Look at that. Gosh, the star card, you guys, the star and the king of pentacles with that commitment offering right below it quickly with the knight of swords. Jeez, <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, you are my other half. Yeah, guys, like I said, twin flame soulmate energy, you're not on the twin flame journey. Let that go. I know a lot of you are on um, with a soulmate. Your person is your soulmate. Excuse me. You take what resonates for you, but your person is acknowledging that. I'm still checking up on you. Yeah, we actually know this because I saw the Page of Swords already. We talked about it. Your person knows what's going on with you, Virgo, whether it's through social media or through friends and family. I feel like for a lot of you, it's through other people, but for some of you, it is social media here. Okay, guys, last chance. Last chance. Okay, that is yours. Look, there's another please forgive me, guys. Where is that? Can you forgive me? Please forgive me. Wow. Virgo. Virgo, what do you need to forgive them for? I know that you're hurt for all the work that you've put in. Also waiting around. I think you're sick of that. But I do think that there are other people for some of you. Yeah. I'm not choosing you over another person, or I think for a lot of you too. Um, I know it's wild, but it's coming through very strong that it's through family ties, some kind of differences. I'm feeling drawn to pick up your selenite again. For some of you, definitely a Taurus. That's not for everybody, but that is coming through. The Carol Closet channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. Again, if you feel you're sending them to your person, you go with what resonates for you. Okay, this is yours. My world changed when I met you. Wow, they're kind of clamming up a little. I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah, I feel that here with the Page of Pentacles energy, you guys, I have to tell you very much. Um, just kind of a little bit, yeah, a little bit of immature energy, but maybe younger also. That's just a given with the Page of Pentacles. But I just think your person just being a little bit more afraid here about this connection. Not sure. Very much trying to get the strength with the King of Wands. But boy, do we see it coming through. But I have to say to you guys, too. I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is my coveting, coveted, excuse me, hiding spot in my readings. And even traveling now, as I'm not in Austria at the moment, I'm traveling, I'm in America with my family. I have to tell you, <laughs> look, they're still hiding here. The King of Pentacles, stand, now with the, 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 excuse me, the commitment right there, look, wearing that floral wreath right on them, the star right there, everything really coming together and to fruition here too, guys, which we see in the commitment card, yet they're still hiding a little. They are afraid that you're going to reject them. Oh my gosh. And maybe owning up to something too. Don't give up on us. Excuse me. I hope that came through. Okay, guys. Wow. Okay. This is yours. I'm hiding my true feelings. Okay, guys, there is that emperor energy. For some of you, your person is an Aries. I think they were, but I have to say to you guys, I don't think that they um, are now or they will be. I think that's coming, it's coming through very strongly here. But for some of you, your person is held back by other people. These are both yours. It's really hard living without you. I'm sorry I ran. This is yours and this is yours. We will be together again someday. I think that's up to you, Virgo. Gosh, wow. Don't ever change. I love when that comes down. Um, sometimes, you know, it's common. We doubt ourselves when we are in a partnership that is disconnected, um, hurt us very badly and no communication, of course, and or in separation contact, you start feeling like 
doubting yourself and insecure and let that go, you guys. You're perfect, okay, as you are. As we all need to do things for ourselves to better ourselves, that's true. Don't get me wrong, but when people are when things aren't working out, it's not just one person. So whatever you are holding on to, if you think it's you or it was you, let that go. Your person, I like, I love that that's coming through. Okay, guys, these are yours. I fear you have moved on. Yeah, I feel that very strongly, guys. Your person. Gosh, I will never give up on us. I am afraid to contact you. There's that page of pentacles energy, guys. Partially why I do really feel like it's going to be more of a quick, very quick. Here we see, guys, that transactional here with that bird also rising above that. Look at that. Look at all the birds in this picture guys are you seeing that oftentimes they're they're coming to us to tell us that somebody is trying to rise above something and I also want to tell you here we're looking straight at three birds you guys there's that third party again what is that third what is that third is it other people is it one other person the hurt something that happened between you here but your person trying to rise above that here guys and getting some clarity too um and a I also want to say to you, it feels very strongly for a lot of you to an apology coming. Um, we see that here, but also through um, talking with you, I want to tell you very much. Your person getting some clarity here. Yeah, there is that. Okay, we're going to give them one last chance. Guys, I do not have totems today. I'm traveling, as I said, so those will resume when I get back to Austria. Um, so this is going to be the last card. Let's see what your person has to say, guys. Last chance. Last chance. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I actually really love this for you. Virgo, look. I want to kiss you. Look where it's, look, do you know what this is, guys? This is the mistletoe from your Christmas readings, from December readings. So... I've decided to keep it up for January or more like travel here to America with it um, during the holidays. And there you have it. Oh, look, all this time. Oh, look, I forgot to turn it on. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, better late than never. I want to kiss you. How did I miss that, you guys? I love that for you. Um, yeah, guys really um your reading it's pretty beautiful i really do feel here guys this is you here ball is in your court guys there is that offering there is your person virgo waking up here there is that star your person wanting having that hope for you guys wanting to take that chance here with the fool card the world card here guys wanting this reunion very much looking at that not quite sure yet here the page of pentacles but knowing that they want to do this work you guys being led by their heart i have to say more than any other time and you always virgo that's the thing you're just such a pure person i have to say a very honest person people are attracted to that about you your person trying to get that courage, guys, very much wanting to stand the heat. Do the work. Do what you <laughs> come with some honesty, guys, with some apologies for you. That salamander standing that sun, that heat, that king of pentacles, guys, that offering. There's that star again. The knight of swords very quickly coming. You having this decision. What is that? Well, look. You got that commitment card very much. There's that star again for the third time. And it's no accident that that is the three again, you guys. That commitment. What is that keeping you? What is that decision you need to make? What do you need to forgive your person for? Virgo. That is your reading today. Absolutely loved channeling for you as always. 
I thank you for being here and also bearing with me <laughs> through my traveling setup. I know it's quite different, guys. And as you can see, I want to put your cards back down here for you. It's a little bit messy, guys. I know. <laughs> it's a very, very beautiful reading and moving very quickly. Okay, I'm going to set them all here. Virgo, I love you. Take care of yourselves. I wish you well. Thank you for joining me today. Of course, as always, if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe button below. And guys, I'm still traveling, so make sure you hit your notification bell so you know when I'm uploading. And yeah, that's it. I will see you next time. Take very good care of yourselves, Virgo. Bye. Thank you.